let us pray that today is a day where seeds are planted, content is delivered, but more importantly than anything, that young people open their hearts and their minds to the message that is about to be delivered today. I, I try and get a, a feeling of what's going on so that I can tailor my message to meet their needs. We're dealing with social media. So who does this fall on? It is so important for our families to be stronger today than ever before. I think young people in the fifth to eighth grade need great structure, they need routine, and they need to be monitored because social media is a problem in America and it's a problem with our teenagers. And I think the best place to stop it is with parents becoming more involved in our young people. How awesome is this? I'm getting a message from Abby Grange, eighth grader at South Vermilion Middle School. I'm the student council president of South Vermilion Middle School and I wanted to shoot you an email to thank you. Your speech was absolutely amazing and I'm very glad you were able to come and share your stories. How awesome is that? 1 p.m. high school assembly. Let's get this thing kicking. Boom. So we're gonna go and do the high school kids now. Gosh, I love what I do. Hey, this is me and Shy. Shy is gonna be uh, helping out. By Shout out to Shay. High five, chest bump, real awkward. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna have fun. Boom, catch you later. See ya. You know, ladies and gentlemen, overnight success takes 15 to 20 years. Nice um, socks. Who dressed you today? You look good, man. Element is they look back on their life and they all say, you know, I never appreciated the journey. Our life is about now. When life knocks you down, you get back. Within those four walls, life isn't perfect. We deal with abuse, we deal with addiction, we deal with blended families, we, we deal with, with drugs, alcohol, we deal with divorce, financial struggles. I, I get it. Ladies and gentlemen, life is a journey, man. Take your time to fall out, get back up. I know some people, they make a bad choice. It only takes two seconds to make a bad choice. But it takes some 30 years to recover from that. That's where the courage comes in and the self-discipline. Are you willing to put off what might give you instant gratification for your plan to come to fruition later? One day in practice, the senior captain said to him, hey, why don't you do the whole team a favor? Why don't you just go home and kill yourself? Nobody knew his story. Why do we judge people based on the 5% that we think we know about them? Or better yet, don't you think it would be awesome if we lived in a world where we could choose to forgive as quickly as we judge? Who's the hardest person to get to know? And everybody sits here and we say, This is his wisdom from his whole life. Lose your ego, walk out those doors, open your heart. And if you have adults in your life that you trust and you respect and people whose opinions you value, go to them. Do you think that when I hugged them and I said that it would be okay, that I knew that it would be okay? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know you. It's going to be okay. Probably one of my most fun school assemblies ever. We started at 1.30, school ended at 3.20. We basically went right up to the end. 
I asked the principal how much time I had left. I'm, I was just having fun. And he's like, hey, we get out of school 320. So I said, to teachers, hey, you want them back? The teacher's like, no. Nope. Kids didn't want to go back. We had a party, man. I love what I do.